Let's see if we can drop. Let's see if we can drop a nuke on them. It's time to. Oh my gosh! Hello guys, this is Spider Rock, and welcome back to another Minecraft add on showcase video. Today we're going to be checking out the missile add on by Carzex. This is an add on that adds in a ton of new missiles. And, well, I don't know why I say new missiles, like there's already missiles in Minecraft, but this adds in a ton of missiles that you can get in survival Minecraft, launch, and blow whatever you want up. I would like to go ahead and shout out Boy, Ashton Cooper, and Fusenate for becoming YouTube channel members. Thank you very much for the support. Okay, so in this chest, I've went ahead and gathered everything we're going to need to launch these missiles. We've got a target, a launcher, as well as a ton of different missiles. There are a lot of different types of missile, and I'm going to go ahead and throw them all in my inventory because these are pretty destructive, so I feel like I'm not really going to have enough area right here to detonate all of them. Maybe we can blow up the village. Maybe we can blow up a pillager outpost. I don't really know. But I think we're going to start out with the regular missile. So what you do is you put down your target wherever you want to uh, wherever you want to launch the missile. So let's say I want to launch it right here. And then you bring your missile to basically wherever you feel like launching your missile from. So let's say right here this is going to be, uh, to be mission control. Uh, the missile models themselves look okay. It would be nice if they had a nice texture. But I mean most of the textures in this add-on don't look very good. I'm going to be honest. That's kind of one of my only few complaints. Anyway, we use the launcher and we can send the missile flying. You just right, right click or interact with it. And we can send the missile flying into the air uh, at least until it like disappears from our uh, from our view and then if we head over to the target uh, hey we can still kind of see the little trail of, uh, of stuff up there but if we head over to the target sometime soon we should see the missile kind of you know make its way back down I mean you can still kind of see it up there and there it goes the missile is coming and Boom. Yep, it blows everything. I mean, it's a missile. I don't know what else a missile would do. But it is pretty cool to watch them blow up like that. And I do want to see what happens if I put down multiple targets and launch a missile. And if I put down one target and launch multiple missiles. So I'm going to just launch a missile from right here. Uh, just use the launcher, launch it up. Basic, uh, just a regular missile. It's funny, there's a missile and there's a TNT missile. One of them, I think. Um, yeah, that's the one we're gonna do next. There's a TNT missile and a regular one, but the regular one has TNT on it. I wonder if this will just break the game completely, or if it will go to a random target. I mean, it's gonna be kind of hard to tell, because we've got, like, three targets here, but it... Okay, it kind of went towards all of them, but they were all right in the same place. That wasn't a very good test. Okay, well, let's see what happens if we launch, say... Uh, one, two, three, four, five missiles. Will it launch them all? Okay, so it launches the nearest missile, I see. So we can launch all the missiles. I wonder if they will all... I guess it depends on uh, when they, like, go. I don't think I can fly up fast enough to keep up with the missiles, but they're kind of, yeah, they're kind of going a little bit faster. A little bit faster than I can fly. I mean, I'm all the way up here. I'm going to head back down here. I just realized... Oh, no, I do have a target. I was going to say I just realized I don't have a target, but I, I do have a target. Oh, we got two, three, four, five missiles just like that. This is... That's a really deep hole, considering I didn't think they like blew up that much. I guess they do blow up a lot. Like that's a that's a pretty big explosion. Uh, let's try out the TNT missile. This one actually looks really cool from what I've seen. So I'm just gonna throw a target down here. I want to keep launching them from my little area here because I think it's kind of cool. Uh, let me just go ahead and uh, launch the missile. It's kind of like a little black TNT, which is uh, kind of interesting. Let's see. Let's see what happens here. Oh, it's out of my render distance now. Okay. Uh, I'm pretty sure, well, I kind of know what this does, and maybe you do if you've already seen the page, which, by the way, link in the description to the add-on page. There are some very interesting videos to accompany the add-on on the page. Here it comes, the TNT missile, and it spawns a bunch of TNT, and then a missile to land on top of the TNT. Oh my god! <laughs> what? I did that was enormous. Like, I, I, okay, that was kind of all at once. That was really... That was really a big explosion, though. Jeez. Um, well, that was interesting. That's the TNT missile. Let me move the ones I've done to there. The effect missile doesn't seem as interesting. Um, I think it gives you a bunch of good effects, which seems kind of weird. I'm going to launch it over there. Uh, let me throw down the thing. Maybe I can blow these guys up at some point, but uh, I'm going to launch the effect missile. This one looks kind of cool. It's like a little TNT, but it's like a like a rainbow TNT looking thing. It looks kind of interesting. I do want to see this, uh, I do want to see this land here and see if it gives me a bunch of effects. Cause from the thing you get like every, every buff, like no debuffs. Um, but it could be different than what it says on the page. Typically things deviate from the page a little bit. The page also says there's five things and, oh, hey, I got like every good effect. I'm invisible. Let's see what I got. 
Is this gonna- Oh my gosh, there's so many effects. Speed, haste, strength, jump boost, regeneration, resistance, fire resistance, water breathing, invisibility, night vision, health boost, absorption, conduit power, and bad omen for just a little bit. This could actually be good for like fighting a boss or something. Like if you're gonna fight the wither or the ender dragon. You grab a few of these and you can just like land them and just uh, have all these like nice buffs. Um, you know, you just won't die. I, I like the invisibility, it's kind of nice. Um, okay, am I here? I'm normal again? Okay, well that's the effect missile. I uh, didn't mean to put it there. I, where did I get? I guess I picked up the dirt from the explosion. Now we've got the mob missile. This one's actually pretty fun. I might actually uh, make this one land in here because I kind of want to keep the mobs contained. Um, and I can take them out pretty easily. That's a really funky little guy on the side of that missile. <laughs> it looks kind of silly. Okay, missile, where are you going? I see the little trail there because it's a particle effect and not a not a mob um, or not an entity. So it just looks kind of kind of silly there. Uh, here we go. Here is the new particle here. Let's see the mob explosion. Oh, that lagged. Oh, it just spawns every mob. Th this is complete chaos. There's literally every mob in the game <laughs> is right here. At least most of the mobs. I don't know if it's every mob. What, this is absolute chaos. Um, there's a shulker. There's literally a skeleton horse. There's a bunch of normal horses and donkeys, magma cubes. What is happening? I feel like we should leave this area now. What is the mini missile? Maybe here, let's I have an idea. Let's just see what happens if I say if I say launch a missile here. If I launch the missile onto these guys. Um or if I maybe I could like launch missile missiles and the witch is like floating and throwing stuff at a vex. I don't know what's happening. Is the missile dropping down yet? I think it could be. I could just be seeing it go up still. Um I want to see what the mini missile does. That's a lot of missiles. This is a lot of this is Oh, it's frozen. Let's see. Okay, this is kind of... Oh, I, one of the missiles just went flying. Where? Oh, no. My game is chugging. What is happening? Um, well, so much for my showcase area. Dang, it's just gone. The only thing left is the netherite blocks and, like, the portals. Is the nether portal still good? No, of course it's not. I don't know how I expected that to still, like, function. Okay, well, let's move on to the next... Area and the next missile. We still have four more missiles to get through. Jeez, I didn't realize there's a lot. There's a lot here. It's kind of interesting. Anyway, next we have. Oh, we're gonna finish it off with the nuke. By the way, the nuclear missile. I'll find something to nuke. Let's try the nether missile. Let's turn this. Uh, let's turn this little area here, this little village, into the nether. I'm gonna put this here. Maybe I can launch it from the hill. I feel like that would look cool. To be like uh, countdown in uh, three, uh, two. Heck, <laughs> that's actually kind of funny. Just as heck, three. Two, one, launching the missile. The missile is being launched. Oh boy, what will it blow up? Actually, it's gonna blow this village up. Or maybe it won't blow it up. Maybe it just spawns a bunch of nether mobs. Who knows? Well, you probably know, and I should know if I read the page, but I didn't really pay attention to it. I like to have, I like to have it be slightly a surprise here. Oh, here it comes. What, that was really anticlimactic. That was kind of cool, but at the same time, I, I think I did it down a block. It's kind of neat. It just turns the entire area into nether. Look, the literally this is like obsidian and like... That's actually kind of interesting. Because um, it like put lava there and obsidian. That's actually really cool. I kind of like the nether missile. I want to see if I put... If I put a bunch of targets down or I put a target... I don't really know. Um, I'll try the nether missile out again a little bit. This happens actually really fun uh, so far. Let's try the ender missile. I'm assuming it does the same thing. But maybe with the end. So let me turn let me turn this little patch of land right here into the end. I'm gonna break a block down and put the target there. I feel like I'm gonna have a better uh, result. Launching the Ender missile. It's a green TNT or jade TNT. That's actually a pretty nice color right there. I don't know. It's like a real uh, jade. Let's see if I can turn this entire area though into the end. And is it gonna land? Oh, it's on its way down. It's on its way down. We're about to. It's about to be end time. Oh, oh, it literally. Wait, what? Yo! <laughs> That's actually really awesome! It literally cloned... Sorry, I was silent for a second there. It cloned the entire, like, area down there up into the sky. That's really weird, but that... That's really... What? That's kind of... Tr I don't know, that's... I don't... I don't know. That's weird, but that's kind of cool. Let's try the flat missile. I'm pretty sure this one just flattens out an area of land. Um, so I kind of want to put it in a ravine. I feel like that would be interesting to flatten out a ravine. Which I know that doesn't really make sense, but like... Wait, what happens if it gets stuck on something? Okay, I'll try that in a bit. 
Um, let me go ahead and launch a flat missile. Just see, uh, see how the flat missile goes. And then we can try the nuke. I'm really curious about the nuke. Um, but there goes the flat missile. They're really satisfying to watch just go into the air. I'm not going to lie. Um, I can't wait to see it uh, come down and uh, blow up this ravine. Or I guess flatten the ravine. I think it's going to just like cut out a big portion like a minor stream uh, type thing. I wonder if there... I hope there's not a block above this that will obscure it. Let's see. Here we go. Oh! Yep, I was right. Literally just hollowed out a giant box. But uh, I think it's time for the nuke. I mean, I don't know if you guys think it's time. I think it's time. Pillagers, you know, they're kind of annoying. They're kind of frustrating. They're kind of uh, annoying sometimes. I don't know what I'm saying. Let's just uh, throw down, you know, just casually throwing down a nuke. And uh, let's just let's just nuke this place. Let's see let's see how this goes. Um, I could fly up with it. I could just watch it as it goes into space. Um, hopefully, it'll drop down here momentarily. These guys, you know, they're kind of annoying. They're mean to my village friends. They're probably the reason there's no villagers in that village, you know. So let's see. Let's see if we can drop. Let's see if we can drop a nuke on them. It's time to... Oh. 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 I... Okay. Uh, that, la that lag, the lag, the lag, the lag, the lag. <laughs> what is happening? It's not really lag. It's just freezing. Oh my gosh. This is not kidding when it said it's a nuke. Um, the, the missile's still here. The missile is still... Is still going strong. But I don't... What is happening? It's like... Really ch I'm getting just blown over here. Maybe I should just leave the world and reopen it. I don't think there's much I can do now. I don't know if you guys can tell on the video feed, probably, that I'm getting around two frames a second right now. At least that's what it feels like. Here, maybe this tree can put Nope, tree, come on. Protect me. Oh, I'm going. I'm go- Where am I going? See, this is the problem with big explosions. Is that they're big explosions. So you just kind of go wherever wherever you're going i'm sh i'm going really far apparently can i like oh oh what is okay i think i think something happened let's see if this nuke actually actually functioned like a nuke let's see if if the area was nuked here let me go into this person this position perspective first person that's what i'm trying to say let's see how did the nuke go how did the oh my gosh that's enormous! That's literally a nuke! That's literally nuked this entire pillager out. My game is chugging because of all the, like, blocks and water and items and fire. Jeez! That is an, an enormous... an enormous pit. Um, well, yeah, maybe don't nuke your house. Uh, maybe don't nuke your base. I feel like that should be a given, but in case it's not... There is no more pillager outpost, and there are no more pillagers. They're gone. They're no longer to not ever be seen again. Uh, I want to I wanna launch one of every missile onto this village, and then I think I'll call it... I think I'll call it a day here. I just want to see what would happen if I just throw down a target. I won't launch a nuke. How about that? I'll launch everything but a nuke right here. And, you know, just see what uh, what happen what hits first. If I Can I put all of these in the same place just about... Uh, let me just uh, do that, do that, do that, and then uh, put an Ender Missile down as well. And then just spam the launcher, see how, if I can get these all. I've got my, I've got my brigade of missiles, my brigade of missiles going into the air. Oh boy, where are they gonna land? My, uh, well I know where they're gonna land, they're gonna land right, right there on that little yellow and red block. A little kind of ugly yellow and red block, but it does its job. It doesn't need to stay around for long, it's just gonna be there until it is gone forever. Oh, here come the missiles. Here come the here come the here come the here are the missiles. What what are the missiles? Who who are the miss? When is the missiles? Are the missiles? I don't know. Oh, well, yeah, <laughs> this is oh my god. This place is destroyed. Like as much as the other place was destroyed by the nuke, this is so much worse. We've got. We've got, like, obsidian checkerboarding, we've got nether blocks, a whole chunk is raised up into the sky, there's water flowing everywhere, there's, like, some random mobs around, occasionally, and then there's just a giant hole here with a bunch of other individual small pits of death. We've got what was probably at one point a mob spawner, um... Wait, is the rest of the mob spawner up here? Yes, it is! Literally, the spawner's up here. Wait, why is the skeleton the mob spawn? 
What? Wait, hold on. Did you guys see that? The skeleton in the mob spawner is frozen. Is it really that bad? Is it really that laggy? Maybe you're not supposed to notice it from like far away. I guess that's just a Minecraft thing. That's kind of interesting. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you made it here, I'll leave a link in the description to this add-on. I'm going to give it a solid, I think, I think a solid seven and a half out of 10. As fun and cool as it is, and the fact that you can use it in survival, my only real complaint is that the textures and the models are just really unpolished and kind of ugly, I'm not going to lie. But aside from that, you know, if they fix those, maybe I'd bump it up to, to like close to a nine, because that was just really fun. So I definitely recommend this if you just want to have some fun. Thanks for watching me to here though. See you guys later, and bye.